Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Art Jarrett. Well, good morning to you and uh, happy Monday here. Let's take a look here right now. Skycam 8 Salinas from the Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital. We have clear skies reported at the airport. 57 degrees for your local temperatures. Winds are out of the southeast at six miles per hour. And then we're going to get into some humidity, about 51 percent and 39 degrees for your local uh, dew point here. So that means we are drying out. In fact, from the south working northward, we are drying out. You're holding on to widespread 50s intermixed with some 60s here. We'll do the same up in San Jose heading into the Santa Clara Valley. OK, so we've got the high clouds uh, trying to sneak in again. We've got some of those kind of moving across the area. These are low clouds trying to edge closer and closer. Now we're seeing this develop a little bit more. So as fog trackers picking up coastal fog, coming out of Big Sur, Half Moon Bay. And so our local temperatures are going to cool a bit, but our winds are going to be light, so we're not going to have a strong push. There are the high clouds, and I'm talking about a strong push moving those clouds inland. We're going to see again the high clouds continuing to move across the area, stretching across the state, getting up into the Sierra and then working uh, northward. More on the way, and this will continue to encroach on us, taking us to partly cloudy skies for tomorrow. There's dry conditions. As you can see, all that brown right in there, that is the dry air kind of circulating back along the coastline from Low County all the way down to Santa Barbara as well, picking up into our interior valleys and as well along the coastline. We're also seeing it down in Southern California. So that means our local temperatures for today are going to be very mild to hot. In some cases, Santa Cruz should pick up some 80s, 70s by the Monterey area. Salinas mixing into near 80 uh, through the 80s. In fact, you'll see tomorrow we'll begin to cool it off along the coastline, extending into Salinas and Prunedale, possibly into San Juan Batista, cooling off a bit there in Hollister. We'll also pick up cooler conditions for Wednesday as the marine influence comes back, our temperatures begin to cool and we'll see more 60s, 70s and the lower 80s. We'll pick up future cast here showing us the high clouds moving through the area. Those winds coming offshore, curving back to the bay, pushing back into the bay all the way into Salinas and down through San, uh, San Benito County. Coastal Salinas today, 73 to 86 degrees. Patchy coastal fog for you. 80s and 90s for the inland areas yet again. Winds out of the west 5 to 10 miles per hour. If you're heading up to San Francisco, good looking day up there in the 80s. We'll do the same in Oakland as well as Fremont, San Jose to Santa Clara County. Uh, if you're going to work today, we'll see 80s and 90s up in Santa Cruz County. If you don't want to leave the area, it's going to be fantastic. Good looking sunrise as well, but in the afternoon, we'll have a nice little sunset getting into uh, uh, some looking good looking numbers in the 80s and 90s. We'll see those clouds continue to press into our area. We'll add additional clouds going through the forecast area with 90s and upper 80s through the Salinas Valley, 70s and 80s for the inland, air, excuse me, for the coast. In fact, we'll skip this and go straight to it. I wanted you guys to see some other looking numbers, but your case KSBW eight day forecast. This is what's going to happen for us. As we go through the day, temperatures will begin to cool down. Now they are above seasonal average temperatures. We'll see that cooler conditions with extended clouds coming in for Tuesday and then again for Friday. We'll do the same on the inland side as well. Temperatures well above seasonal averages until we get to Monday of next week. Wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah so uh, again, I'm wearing it's Monday. I haven't had this in a while, so I'm wearing the Monday tie. Blessings in a box. Remember that yes. from the Walters. This is uh, from Sip Walters. She, her husband, uh, Charles, passed away uh, earlier this year, and we would do this for a tribute to them because they gave me a whole box of ties, which are fantastic. These ties were handmade by Sook herself. As you can see here, let me turn this way for you. Absolutely mm -hmm. gorgeous, and I really mm -hmm. thank them all. In fact, all those folks that do such wonderful work and kindness on the Central Coast to help folks out. It's just, just Blessings yeah. in a box. You it know? came it with the sweetest note. So generous and yeah. so kind. Just yes. a wonderful mm -hmm. reminder of the kindness. Like you got for world. your family, you mm -hmm. know? Just yeah. mm -hmm. wonderful folks. Okay, mm -hmm. that's about it. All right.